here we're looking at a plantar view uh, and we're looking at the muscles of the foot. This is a left foot. So what we've got is on the, on the first layer, on the medial aspect, we've got abductor hallucis attaching over here and here and then coming down to the first uh, proximal phalanx. There's abductor hallucis. Then in the middle, we have flexor digitorum brevis, attaching the digits two to five. And then on the lateral side, we have the abductor digiti minimi. And if we just carefully remove the first two, take off abductor hallucis, flexor digitorum brevis, that allows us to see how broad the abductor digiti minimi is back here at the calcaneal tuberosity. So it attaches to both tubercles there, okay, on the posterior or plantar surface of the calcaneus. So it's quite broad here. Often on the specimens, once you get past the base of the fifth metatarsal, it will just be a tendon. So don't expect that it's going to be a big, thick muscle out here. It may just be a tendon on the specimen. But it should be quite broad back here. So that's the abductor digiti minimi, quite a largish muscle there, more proximally. Then on the second layer, we've got the quadratus plantar here. So here it is attaching to the calcaneus, coming forward to attach to the tendon of flexor digitorum longus. Then from, again, attaching to flexor digitorum longus and moving anteriorly from there to the extensor expansion, which we'll look at in a sec on the dorsal surface of the digits, we have the lumbricals. So here's the first lumbrical, second, third, fourth. So again, they attach to digits. They attach to digits two to five, so both the, both the flexor accessorius or quadratus plantae and the lumbricals all associated with flexor digitorum longus tendons as well. All right, so we can take those ones off. Now we're looking at the third layer. And again, on the third layer, there are three. Starting on the medial side, we've got flexor hallucis brevis. Now you can see there are two parts. They're either side of flexor hallucis longus, which is the tendon here. They have the sesamoid bones of the uh, first metatarsal head attached, uh, kind of in the embedded in the tendons here. Um, and yeah, now either side of the flexor hallucis longus tendon. Now, the next muscle we can see is the adductor hallucis. Now it has an oblique and a transverse head. Um, but the oblique head and the flexor hallucis brevis are joined usually about here. And so you really can't tell which is which right around here. You can, if I wanted to pin them on a specimen, that means I'd have to pin probably over here or over here because there they are clearly different and you can separate them usually along here more proximally. But more distally here, they're fused and, you, and it's difficult to tell them what's what just around here. So that's those two there. Then on the lateral aspect of the third layer, there are three muscles in the third layer, just like the first. This is the flexor digiti minimi brevis. So it's only little out here on the lateral side, just medial to the uh, tendon of the abductor digiti minima. So let's remove those, or at least what we can of them. Uh, we're still left with the, the uh, transverse head there of adductor pollicis. What we can see now is the fourth layer. <coughs> now the fourth layer consists of seven muscles, two muscle groups, seven muscles, and they're dorsal and plantar interosseous muscles. Now the dorsal ones you can see on the dorsal aspect, but you can also see them on the plantar aspect. So we see them all along here. But the plantar ones you can only see on the plantar aspect. So later on when I turn the foot over, all we'll be able to see are the dorsal ones, but here there are seven muscles. And the way it goes is in this first space here between the first and second metatarsals, there's only one muscle. That's the first dorsal interosseous muscle. Then in the second space, there are two muscles, and there's the same in each space after that, there are two muscles. So in the second space, we have firstly the sec, if we're going from medial to lateral, we have the second dorsal interosseus, and then we have the first plantar. So it goes first dorsal, second dorsal, first plantar. Then in the next space, we get the third dorsal and the second plantar, and then we get the fourth dorsal, and the third plantar in the last space there between the metatarsals. Now then, of course, we have the flexor digiti minimi brevis, which if it's still there, 
looks just like one of the interosseous muscles and is right next to them. So you have to make sure you identify all of them to be sure which one you're looking at. So we'll go through it again. First dorsal, second dorsal, first plantar, third dorsal, second plantar, fourth dorsal, third plantar, flexor digiti minimi brevis. If you start from the lateral side and work your way back, remember that flexor digiti minimi brevis is a third layer muscle, but then you've got third plantar, fourth dorsal, second plantar, third dorsal, first plantar, second dorsal, first dorsal. So that's how it goes from lateral to medial. Now, when you're learning them in the lab, it's a little, a little bit tricky on the model because they're not that clear, but on the specimens, it, you can often gently, carefully, separate them where there are two with a pointer. And you can see which is which and see a little space in between them. The other thing you can do is if you turn the specimen over, and again, be very careful and gentle, what you can do is push gently on a dorsal interosseous muscle with the flatter part of the pointer. And then if you turn the specimen over as you're doing that, as you're pushing, only one of the two muscles in the, in the compartment that you're looking at will move. That will be the dorsal one because you're pushing on it. And so you'll be able to tell which is dorsal and which is plantar. That's if you're having trouble identifying those. But it is something that you can do. Just be really gentle if you're doing it though. You don't want to damage the muscles. All right, so remember there's two dorsals before there's a plantar. All right, and then on, again, on the dorsal surface, we only have a couple of muscles here, apart from the interosseous ones, which we'll find in these spaces between the metatarsals. We have the extensor digitorum brevis, out here on the lateral aspect. Usually there are three tendons going across to join the long extensor digitorum tendons here um, on digits four, three, and two. So that's extensor digitorum brevis attaching to digits two, three, four. Then the more medial part of it, the extensor hallucis brevis attaching in to the long extensor tendon on digit one. So those ones there, extensor hallucis brevis, extensor digitorum brevis.